Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to a new app from Jam All K, Autobase. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Additionally, if you would like to participate in the giveaway and um, have a possibility to own a copy of this new fantastic app, just do remember to follow the instruction in the video description. Thank you again. So we are inside AUM, let's create a MIDI channel and also an audio channel. And then let's choose as an audio um, source Lotom, which is really a nice app for generating bass sounds. Let's choose something like, for example, ARP Popper. Next, let's go to the MIDI channel and let's search for auto Base. And as you can see, it appears under the category gem all K, and it is very much an AUV3 MIDI generator, which you can use, as you can see, to generate bass, but also melody patterns. As you open it, you are presented with a piano roll. At the top here, you have an edit menu, which you can use to nudge uh, notes to the left and the right. You cannot change individual notes because you need to generate them using this button here at the bottom here where it says generate. And you can transpose up and down. And you can also click on the accent and give some accent to notes. And of course, you can close the edit menu. So you have a piano roll here in the middle of the screen. Then you have a number of parameters here at the bottom, which I will explain in a moment. You have selection of patterns, which you can change using CC number 10 by default. You can add patterns like so. You can go back to previous pattern, click on hold to copy and delete, and of course, paste as well. Here you have a duration, which you can change up to 64 bars, really nice. You have a work style, so you can generate uh, uh, different uh, style uh, for uh, different melody in different styles um, and different pattern for bass in a random mode, divergence notes, so notes will diverge um, or converge, they can, they can go up and down, down, up, down and up. So try and um, have a lot of fun. You have a settings menu here where you can choose the CC number for the for changing the patterns or to generate also a new pattern, a new uh, melody uh, sequence or a bass sequence. You can change the input and output to MIDI channel. Uh, also, you have the ability to select the scale. So in this case, I will select the C minor. And also the range, the octave range. So in this case, I put between 1 and 2, which will define how spread, of course, your pattern will be. You can also define the nudge amount, which by default is a quarter of a note, but of course, uh, you can change that. And then below, you can change the control um style for the knob which is vertical and horizontal vertical or rotary then you can export the pattern via midi which is uh, really useful and then you have access to the tutorial and the version number okay so let me show you click on generate again and i have a new pattern generated now let's connect uh, um, the uh, two up like so so that all the base will drive in this case uh, low tone Okay, perfect. So this dial here is complexity. So as you increase that, it will reduce the number of, uh, um, it will rebalance the number of um, shorter notes versus a longer note. As you can see, a lower value, you have a lot of longer notes. Okay. The next one is density. So this changes the ratio between rest and notes. So if you want more rest, you have a lower values. Then the spread and between the, the uh, range of octaves that you have selected. You can offset also notes towards the higher octave or, or towards the lower octave, or you can leave them right to the center. You can change the gate, how open the notes are. You can see the, the gate is being reduced for the notes. You can also add the randomness or variety against the gate. Then you can set the velocity and you can also add variety against the velocity itself. And finally, you can change the starting notes um so you can shift the start of notes adding that swing effect okay so um let's uh, try again
And of course, you can have a lot of fun in this way. You can define different patterns and then you can call different uh, patterns using CC messages. Now, another cool feature of uh, uh, Autobase is that um, it can transpose up and down uh, the pattern that you see based on MIDI uh, input. So in this case, we are going to double click here to create another MIDI processor. And we're going to choose uh, something like Polybud. Now we connect the two so that Polybud will drive Autobase like so. Then we open up um, Polybud. We set the rate here to be four bars so that it will uh, change after four bars, which will match uh, the um, the settings of Autobase. And um, we ensure that we are going to use the same scale, so C minor, okay, like so. And then we change different notes, uh, C2, G, F2, G2, and why not B flat 2. Now, when uh, um, Polybud uh, starts to play, we play these uh, note C2 for four bars, and then it will go on to F2. And when it moves between one note to the other, you will see inside Autobase that it will uh, transpose up and down based the pattern based on the input note that it has received. So you can see this is really cool because you, of course you can define uh, another pattern driven by Polybud or another BUD application and these will be transposing up and down auto, the Autobase pattern which is really nice. Now let's have a little bit more fun. So why not? Let's bring in uh, Hammerhead like so and um, we uh, disable uh, the sequencer here. We are going to load a factory preset like this one. We're going to decrease a little bit of volume because normally it's quite high. Then uh, what we are going to do is we're going to create another polybud instance like so, and we are going to connect it to Hammerhead um, like so, the second one. And then we open that uh, second instance of Polybud and we change the rate, perhaps one quarter, and we um, perhaps create um, a little bit of pattern so to ensure that we play um, bass and um, snare, um, kick and snare drum. <laughs> Why not? Now let's uh, create another audio source and um, uh, let's see what um, we can use um, this time. So let's, um, why not? Let's bring in BA1 from Baby Audio and um, let's instantiate another auto bass instance like so. And we are going to use it this time to create a normal melody. So let's connect it to BA1. A second instance of auto base. Okay, let's open these up and um, let's set the settings to a C minor again. Perhaps we go up in terms of uh, octave and uh, let's generate um, some melodies. <laughs> And let's ensure also that uh, this version, this instance of Autobase is also driven by the first instance of Polybat so that it will change, it will be transposed accordingly. <laughs> Thank you. 
and so on and so forth. So you can continue like so, add additional apps from the repertoire of uh, bad apps that Jeb uh, all K has created. But you can say you can have a lot of fun. You can use Autobase to generate bass patterns, but also to generate melody patterns. And this is just a simple example done quickly. But of course, you could spend hour, hours and hours and create your perfect uh, composition. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, see you next time. Bye.